Cineguac. What's going on? Welcome to Cineguac. Today I'm going to show you how to make super sleek, professional, cinematic titles for your videos in Adobe Premiere Pro. Let's go. So as you can see, I have a clip here of the Santa Barbara Ocean, which I shot the other day, and I'm just gonna create some nice, beautiful cinematic titles on top of this. You can begin by hitting T on your keyboard or just going right over here to the text tool and then just move your cursor to the part of the frame where you want your title to live and click and type whatever it is you want to write, Santa Barbara Ocean. Now go back to your selection tool or hit V on your keyboard and you can adjust the approximate size of the text. It doesn't have to be perfect, you can always change it later. Now I think what makes really cinematic text is the spacing between the letters. So here's how you adjust the spacing. With your text layer selected, here let's just drag this so that it matches the duration of your footage. So with the text layer selected, you wanna go right over here to effect controls and hit this little drop down menu. This is where you can customize the font, color, etc. But let's go over here and change the letter spacing value to 400. That looks pretty good. Hit the selection tool and drag this back to the right place in the frame. The next thing we want to do is animate the text so that it slowly moves towards us. The way that we do that is you want to select your text layer again, drag this to the very beginning, the very first frame, go to vector motion, and set a keyframe for scale. And right now we set a keyframe for the scale at 100. Then let's move this all the way to the end and set another keyframe for, let's say, 107. So now, as you can see, when we play that back, the text slowly moves towards us. And there's a pretty bird that flies across the frame. Now, let's add a nice, simple cross dissolve. That way, the text will fade in at the beginning and then fade out at the end. So let's go to Effect Panel, Video Transitions, go to Dissolve, and right here, select Cross Dissolve. And let's drag that to the very beginning of your text layer and drag another one to the very end of your text layer. Now we can increase the duration that the fade in and fade out lasts for by simply just dragging this along. So now, as you can see, it fades in at the very beginning and fades out at the end. Now I think we can get a little bit more fancy by adding a nice blur effect, so that way the text will start off a little bit blurry and slowly come into focus as it fades in. Go to your effect panel again, and right here in the search window, just type in Gaussian Blur. That can be found under the Video Effects Blur and Sharpen subfolders. Grab the blur effect and drag and drop it onto your text layer. Now right back up here in the effects control panel, move this all the way to the very first frame of your text layer, and set a keyframe for your Gaussian blur at the very beginning, and set the value at say 135. Hit this keyframe button, and go to the point where the cross dissolve finishes the point where the text is completely faded onto the screen and set another keyframe back to zero. And then go to the end of the clip where the cross dissolve begins, set another keyframe right here at zero and move this all the way to the end of the text layer and set this back to 135. So now as you can see when you play that back, it starts blurry comes into focus, and as it fades out, it gets blurry again. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe if you want to stay up to date, and visit my website, cineguac.com, if you want to learn more about filmmaking and distribution and making money as a filmmaker and a whole bunch more.